hey, have you ever worked with a sketch that just felt overwhelming and it seems like Fusion starts to bog down because you put all this hard work into one sketch? Hey, this is Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Today talking about keeping your sketches simple. So this is a great example of how not to do it. I hate working with this one. I sketched this outer shape, dimensioned it, and then offset it a bunch of times. And now if I want to extrude it over and over again to get this D-pad example, it's really painful to work with. Granted, I am not at the limits of Fusion 360 that I'm seeing. It does still work, but it's really painful to work this way. And so I would encourage you to simplify your sketches and break them up. Here's a great example of what I'm talking about where I sketched a gear and then patterned it in the sketch. And as you can see, when I stretch this a little bit, it starts to mess up. I need to add a bunch of constraints and relationships. But also, as soon as I start to extrude things and work with it, it's starting to bog down and not keep up. So another great example of keep your sketches simple and do more of them. But again, that this is would be a much better use case for doing a circular pattern of the solid shape of the feature, right? So the example, I, what I mean is if we were to extrude first this profile and then extrude this uh, second profile, we're going to join them up and we're going to go to the other end here. So it's that distance. So we have this additional feature here circular pattern and we're going to choose features and choose that from the design history or from the model itself we're going to model you know pattern it around this arc let's do 44 of them and we can even do the identical or optimize and get even better performance this is so much easier to work with in my mind as well as the sketch is so much more manageable, right? It behaves faster, this all solves. And one thing I love about this is at any time you could right click and suppress those features. So you don't have to, you don't have to have them solving this whole time while you build the rest of your model. And this is a great way to work is suppress things that you don't need for a little while. Hey, if you're trying to grow your Fusion 360 skills, Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and get notified when my daily tips come in. I'll see you in the next video.